A month on from the Grenfell Tower tragedy, a disaster victim identification worker still working on the recovery operation says it's the worst incident he's ever been involved in after more than 18 years in the job. The, we've never had an incident to this scale. The pressures it puts on you emotionally are huge. Um, the DVI team are all volunteers and to ask them to get into a building like this and deal with the stuff they're finding is a big task for them. Alistair Hutchins said working on the aftermath of the London Tower block blaze which killed at least 80 people was harrowing. It's difficult. It's probably the worst incident I've ever dealt with and I've been doing DVI now for 18 years. Um, I've dealt with many incidents and I've never come across one harder, both emotionally and physically and challenging to deal with. He said the work involved getting the deceased out of flats, out of corridors and stairwells and their remains to the morgue for identification which he warned could be a long process. And we're looking at a fingertip search um, of all flats on all floors. And that will involve officers on their hands and knees using small trowels and shovels. They will be removing debris from those flats and using sieves. Now the sieves are going down to a six millimeter size so that we can guarantee that we can pick up small fragments of bone, teeth and the like, and any identifiable part of a human body we will pick up at that stage. Relatives of those missing have been warned formal identification could take at least four months.